Well, of course, tricky conditions all through the weekend, so it's going to be an intense weekend. One race tomorrow and another one on Sunday, so special one. We are fighting for the championship, so now preparing everything, a huge learning curve with the team and everything. So we've been trying a lot of things through the week. Now we'll see how we are for tomorrow's quali and, of course, trying to improve step by step, doing the long runs with what we have. Uh, of course, the weather is not coming along for anyone with the rain and the winds, but I think we are slowly improving and we'll be in a good position for both races at the end of the championship here in Algarve. A big weekend ahead, for eight hours of racing and we're the championships on the line. So we see, uh, we came testing here a few months ago. We looked a lot at data and uh, with the weather, we tried to, to practice in both wet and dry and be ready for a, any conditions. We have two races this weekend, but uh, race one is going to be, I think we're going to go aggressive. We, there's no way, like, we're going to do it every, uh, same as every race we have done every season, every race weekend. So we're going to go aggressive. We trust, you know, I trust in a, at least in my other two teammates. So yeah, I think we're going to go aggressive because we want to win this as soon as possible. So. Let's push and we Saturday and Sunday we have a chill. Well, of course, there's a lot of physical preparation. We've been working, uh, working out on everything, preparing so we are in good shape and we don't have any fatigue and everything. And of course, a lot of simulator to make sure uh, we don't lose any time in, at the track. So yeah, there's been a lot of preparation. Now we have to review the strategy, see how is the, go the weather and of course, line up everything. So we make the good calls into the race and of course have the best chances for the last hour. Uh, we're here to win the championship, we're going to push, we win, want to win both races, you know, and I think that's the, the best way to do it. We cannot count points, we will just go full attack and uh, hopefully be as smart as usual and, and make it overall. So it's the first time for ELMS, uh, at least for me that I'm doing ELMS, that we have two races in one weekend. Um, obviously you want to stay out of trouble in the first one because you still have a second race to go. Um, so, but obviously in both races we go full attack, we want to win, uh, we need to score a lot of points, so there is no holding back on that. We're going to full push, we're going to keep uh, pressure on our competitors, uh, so yeah, just because we're leading for a lot of points doesn't mean we're going to push like there's no tomorrow. Of course there's a lot of managing, there's a roller coaster, there's a lot of tire degradation, but uh, of course you have to push all the time, no matter the conditions, so uh, you try to catch up or pull away, depending on which position you are, but yeah, we'll review everything, there is tricky conditions as I said, so I, I would say for uh, Friday's race and Sunday is going to be very different, so we'll review everything with the team, see how is the tire location, and see how we can course maximize the performance from the car and from the team uh, obviously to get the best result possible in the race. Portimo is tough because a lot of corners a lot of traffic is very intense out here and uh, yeah obviously uh, we're trained for it we're getting ready before the events and uh, it will be fine I'm sure we get some water in the car and we'll be good. Yeah after the first race we only need P7 but we a P7 is not good for us we want to end in a very good way and we, we still want to destroy so we want to win both of, our, of the races here in Portimao. We know we can do it, we have the pace, it's just doing it, and by doing it, we need to be aggressive, and for sure we're gonna be that.